Hello everybody, my name is Sleeping, and welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. Picking up right where we left off. I should have somebody stopping by after like an hour, but it should be just fine. Um, I don't want to do this quest. Like this one, please. That's great. Requires level 2 and Repera. I need Repera. I'm definitely in level 2. Okay, still the same way. Don't get too cocky simply because you had one victory over Sallow. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobster. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Oh, Let yeah. us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. Ooh. That was X, not A. Yeah. I did it. That's it. Very good. Repairer, if you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It's oh, allegedly it. symbolizing I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Laughing peas, what you up to? Are you down? Not up? No. Oh. Hmm. Figure out the rest later. Uh, this is not it. Gimme. There's another one, is it? Yes. I really have made a mess of things. Is everything all right? Oh, hello. Thank you for asking. I'm Cressida, by the way. And I'm afraid everything's not all right. I may be in a spot of trouble with the librarian. What did you do? You see, I'm fond of creating my own charms. Mm -hmm. Thought I'd perfected my light as a feather charm to use on my library books. My arms get so mm. tired carrying them around all day. But I must have confused the Latin word for feather with bird in my incantation because when I opened my bag just now in the library, they literally took flight. Uh -huh. That sounds brilliant, actually. Thank you. Somehow I don't think the librarian will see it that way. I collect the books and remove the charm myself, except this isn't the first time one of my charms has threatened the peace of the library. Oh. Our meat told Madame Scribner they were my books flying around. So she said that if I caused her any more trouble, she'd write to my parents. Perhaps you could get them for me. 
There are only five. She won't be suspicious of a new student looking around. I suppose I could help, if I have the time. Oh, I'd very much appreciate it. One of the books is my diary. I'd rather it not fall into the wrong hands. I'm totally if going to read that. If you them and bring them to me, I can remove the charm. Mm. Uh, I would rather... Do this one. Lumos. Not gonna say Nox. Terrible. Hello. Looking for me? Yep, let's go. Natty, I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsbeat. You must be eager to have your own things again. And to see the village. I've been looking forward to it. Good. Shall we set off? I intend to give you a first-rate Hogsmeade experience. That's inappropriate. Make sure that the recording was still going and everything's good. Everything looks fine on my end. Hopefully the noise is fine. All that good stuff. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Really? Yes. I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a butterbee in the village. <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's owl was perfect. <sighs> I cannot tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air after being cooped up in ancient rooms. Grave mistake to take it as an elective class, believe me. I believe you. Mm -hmm. Though I suppose you would not really call it elective when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. Mm. Hogsmeade is beautiful this time of year. Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas, but that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> not much for the cold, are you? Oh, I do not mind the cold so much, but it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. Oh, wait, over here. I often spot lacewing flies in this area. Oh? What's so special about them? They are interesting to look at, but if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. Got some. Mm, there's some more. Look, from the forbidden forest, hippogriffs. I wonder if something startled them. I heard rumors that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. Leaping towards the wall caps. Anything else that I can snag? Do you think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? What's that? Oop. And abandon her. Exploring a little. There's something glowing That's over there. That's the forbidden forest on the left. It's off limits to students, <laughs> as the name implies. Why is it off limits? The professors claim it is too dangerous. I think that calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. Agreed. Ah, totally want to explore. Ah, over the crest. Past that ruin. 
I would spend all of my time exploring if I could. I confess I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area, since you're relatively new here. She said that? Hmm. She knows more about me than I had thought. I will see. I should well, be able to see I those. certainly learn a great deal in class. Oh, well, I guess I have seen death. Be outside of the castle walls. With uh, seeing the um, goblin die in the vault. That's right. Well, at least it keeps it canonical. It's good to know. But How can't let anyone know death. I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Everything was so new and unfamiliar. I'm getting used to things. What about you? Do you finally feel settled? I still miss my homeland, but it is beautiful here too. And getting out of the castle and exploring helped me to adjust quite a bit. Hogwarts Yay. has become something no of a home to now. Pet you, I'm afraid. Say. Hopefully, it will for you too. Her. Mr. Moon, he is the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss On I. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did Mr. Moon? Jemmy, guys, Dougley and Arian. Mm, terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Oh, Mr. Moon, a demigod. I think he had too much fun in the village. I will say that I have never seen him in such a state. Nearly there. There is much to see outside of the castle walls, not just Hogsmeade. I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. Rumors being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. I'll keep that in mind, Natty. Thank you. I saw that. Revelio. It is hard to know where to start. Stuff the like fitting a kitty. This is the place for butter beer. Mm. And you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honey Dukes. I could not choose a favorite shop here. It changes with every visit. I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. Well, first things first, Ollivanders. Hog's head is that way. Zonko's joke shop. Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spellcraft, some seeds, and... A new wand. Of course! You will enjoy Mr. Ollivander, and I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Experience Hogsmeade at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. Oh, sweet. I'm free from you. Enjoy yourself. I will see you soon. Yeah, there's all the banners immediately to my left. Come some scrolls, so I have to go through all these. Rebellion. Ollivander's first, I assume. Let's get a wand. I'll be right with. Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Of course. Take your time. Ah, uh, mm. hello, sir. I'm looking for... For a new wand, yes. It's about time. Yes, uh, about time. Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. 
But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes. Yes. Hmm. Powerful core. Ten and a half inches. Hmm. You might do. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm. How odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Nope. Oh dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um, Never get it right on the first try. We'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, mm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Goodness. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes. I think you might be the one. Here. Take it. And now I get to customize what it actually looks like. Um. How intriguing. Curious indeed. How intriguing. Curious indeed. Curious indeed. Phoenix feather, of course. Ash Phoenix Whippy, eleven and three quarters inches. Little mix of Harry and the Elder One. What do you think? <sighs> Extraordinary. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. Ah. <laughs> Perfect. Now, thank you. How did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. Yeah. Of course. And a Phoenix Feather Core is terribly selective. This will be an excellent match indeed. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new one's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Yeah, spin the globe. 
appreciate it. Now then. Revelio. I mean, you put a button there. Rebellion. Where's that hitting? At the store. Still hitting something over here. What? Locked. Rebellion. Yeah, I hear it activating on something. Oh. Sadly, I can't buy anything. Lots of beer. Lumos. That happened to be like right over here. Hello there. Look like I've forgotten already. I see a tree, there's a gate. That looks a bit like a tree. There's a gate.
Revelio. Chocolate frogs. I mean, this tree looks right, and there's a fence right there. But... That quite seem to be the right angle. Or does it seem to line up? Huh. Perplexing. It's, you can see like the... I need to go in here anyway. Welcome to J. Pippin's Potions. Hello, Perry Pippin. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Perry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How nice. may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. Are potions really that versatile? They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and... I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? Hmm. But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? Hmm. So this is how I can craft what my can healing I do potions? For you today? Oh, that one's free. Nice. This one too. Feel oh. free to take a look at the rest of my inventory. Or come back another time if you're in a rush today. One. Oh, I don't care about that one. Don't need that. Don't need that. Um, can't upgrade, so get rid of it. Hold on to those, cause increased offense. But still, 
Not enough stench of the dead. Oh, these are just ingredients. These are recipes. Maxima potion. Spell damage for a limited amount of time. Yeah. Invisibility. Useful. Powerful damage potion. Spell cooldowns. hold off on buying any of this. Rebellion. Yeah, I saw you. You can't hide from me. Not like that. Very nice. Oh. Mysterious corduroy rope, huh? Now is that an actual... Nice one, in fact. What do I have here? Yeah, definitely an upgrade. Graveyard. Revelio. Hmm? Ah. You saw me coming. We'll fix that. Eventually. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Ah, oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you, then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Mm. Name's oh, Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Sure. Let me guess, you're after something fresh. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique Hopefully your interest, not aren't we, Jeff? I'm all of shovel fig. Could buy these, but. Uh, room of requirement items. Don't need them. Aha! Revelio. Okay. We're this far. I'm gonna end it here. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.